I swear you people are like sheep. I'm confused. So just because somebody says something to you, you believe everything you hear? I'm confused. Didn't your parents teach you to only believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see? I mean, I'm sorry, is it me or am I not gonna believe a dude who was cracked out for his whole career and alcohol for the rest of it and told someone that he taught Michael Jackson how to do the moonwalk and also said that he got sex with a ghost. And I mean, and to some degree, I don't believe half of what Whitney was saying when she did her interview and said that he would draw on the wall devil eyes and said that he wanted to kill her. I don't believe he did that either. So I just, it's just, it's some of the stuff you need to learn, so I'ma take you back. I'm 40, so I was around. At the time, there was an interview that Janet Jackson did, and she said it out of her own mouth. Nobody knew that they went on a date before she said it. She said we went out on a date, and Quickly, I saw that he was just like James the Barge, drinking and smoking. And I divorced him, annulled my marriage from him because he was doing that. Now, a divorce means you've been married longer than three months. An annulment means uh, it's been a couple of weeks, nigga. I can't do this because look what you're doing. So if she can't be with a man that long, for drinking and smoking. Do you really think she's gonna fuck Bobby Esther Brown? I'm confused. <sighs> Do I seem mad? I want to sell more than Janet. Yeah. I do, I do. And what was her figure, six or seven? Six or seven, one, seven, one or the other. I know, but she sold a lot of albums. Why Janet, why more than Janet? Because Janet is just, as you know, I'm, I'm madly in love with her. Right, you I mentioned can't be 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 with her. Right, you I mentioned can't that be with her. And <laughs> it's this. It's, I'm, I'm just irritated because it just seems like everybody believes everything they hear. Now, is it good entertainment? Perhaps. I mean, I'm sure it's so good that Jen is going to be calling her lawyer. She probably already called. But I just think it's crazy. I'm. Anyway, on to other news. I think this is going to be my new thing. On to other news. Ariana, when you go to funerals, baby, please don't dress like a, a slur. Now, I get it. You weren't there to really celebrate Aretha Franklin. You were there to get your moment from black people that probably don't support you as much as the other people. I get it. You were looking for your moment, but honey, no. Um, just saying. Uh, I miss the Golden Girls. I have a feeling you're lying. Be positive. Okay, Dor I'm positive you're lying. Because I have way more money than she did, cash wise. On March 4, 1993, music careers took a backseat to parenthood. A baby girl, Bobby Christina Brown, was born in Newark, New Jersey. Mom and dad were thrilled. But just one month later, Brown received a bill from the IRS for $1.3 million in back property taxes. The government placed a lien on Brown's Atlanta mansion and put the home on the block. Whitney's company, Nippy Incorporated, came to the rescue, purchasing the property at a silent auction. Money left the marriage.